Hi boys and girls, welcome to Art with Mrs. R. So today we are going to do a really great Mother's Day project. Today we're going to draw a mama giraffe and a baby giraffe and it's going to be a really cute picture and something that you could give to your mom as a Mother's Day gift. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, you're going to need a piece of paper, you're going to need a pencil, a sharpie, and today we're going to use color markers. So all of you should have markers. Um, you're going to need yellow, brown, blue, green, and red. Okay, so those are the markers you're going to be using today. So normally we use crayon, but I thought we'll do it a little bit different and we'll use our markers today. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, you're going to need to put your paper portrait, which is the long way up and down. Landscape is the wide way across. Okay, think of a landscape like you're drawing a picture of a um, sunset or like, um, you know, the the sunrise and how you have like the big background. So when we do portrait, think of like you're drawing a picture of somebody's head. So we want the picture to be the long way up and down. All right. So make sure you have a good pencil. So as always, put your hand in the middle of the page. You want to find the center of the page. Okay. So at the center of the page, this is what you're going to do. Let's go ahead and get started by drawing the head of the giraffe. All right, we're going to start by drawing a line that goes up like that, like a number one. Let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it better. Okay, so really simple, just a long number one. And then you're going to draw a line that goes over like this. And then touch that line again, you're going to go down like that. And don't make it too pointed here at the end, make it a little bit rounded. And then we're going to go like that. Then touch that piece again, where you stopped and go straight down like that. That is the neck of the giraffe. Okay. So if you still need some more time to draw this part, then go ahead and press pause. All right. So let's go ahead and touch this back side here. Let me back up a little bit so you can see my page. So I'm gonna to touch the back part here. I'm gonna go down like this and curve and go down. Okay, so I just touched that back part, went down, curved and down. And on the other side, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna continue the line down so it matches this line over here as far as how long it is. All right, now this is where we're gonna put in some feet. So I'm gonna draw a line across like this, okay, for one foot, and then I'm gonna go up and down, draw a line like this and go up and down, draw a line like this, go up really high and down, and over like that. So it's the four legs of the giraffe. Okay. Now, if you need a little bit more time, just press pause until you've got all the legs done. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add an eye with eyelashes for the mama and a smile like that. Get a close up so you can see what I'm doing. And then we're going to add, you know, those two little bumps they have on the top of a giraffe. We're going to make those. So up and around like that. Up and around like that. And then after you've got those, they look like puffy letter T's to me. Okay. Then we just do these letter U's all along the back of our giraffe like this. They're just, or you could like wavy letter M's. Uh, so just all the way down until you get to this corner here. Okay. So if you've got that so far, and if you need a few more minutes, then make sure to press pause. 
And then we're going to add a tail. So we go up and down like that. Like a puppy, it looks like a puppy tail. And then we add this little thing that looks like a leaf on the end. Okay. And then this is where we add the spots for the mom, because you know giraffes have spots. So make different size shaped spots for your giraffe. And you can put as little or as many as you like. I'm gonna put quite a few in here, I think. Um, up here, I think some, and in here, and in here. Okay, so that's good. All right, so I've put all the spots, and then at the bottom of their feet, just the little hooves, just straight lines across like that. Okay, so there is the mama giraffe, and now we're going to do the baby. So, with the baby, we have the baby looking up at the mom, so we're going to start here. I'll get a little closer so you can see. So we go down like this, just draw a line like that. And then we're going to curve around like this. And then go straight down like that. Okay, and then same on the side. I'm going to go down like this. Curve down and go straight down. And then same thing we're going to do with the legs. Uh, oops, that's a little bit too narrow. So let me go over and up and around. Up and around. And up and around. Place that little spot down there. And in fact, I think I'm going to make this a little bit skinnier. So a little fine tuning here on our picture. Okay, so you've got the general shape in, of the giraffe baby now. And now we need to add the eyes, the smile, and these little knobs at the top of their head like that. And then down the back, of course, the little that. And then we're going to add a little tail, just like we did with the other one with the leaf. And then finish off the feet. And then you can add as many spots as you want. So we'll go in like this, add the spots. Like that. Okay, all right, so there's that. And then I'm gonna add the ground behind them, behind their legs, just like that. And then the final, final touch, we're gonna to add some hearts. So in heart, it just, get a little closer so you can see, just goes up and down like that, and up and down like that. And then you can do a few smaller ones in here like that. Maybe one up here like that. And one like this. And then one like that. Okay. Now if you still need more time to finish your illustration, this is a great time to press pause. And you can finish up um, anything you want to add. I'm going to fix this neck. I want the neck to be a little bit thinner on my baby giraffe. There we go, that's better. So once you're satisfied with your picture, then you can take your Sharpie and you can go over the lines as we always do. And then we'll go in and erase our Sharpie lines once we're done. So I'm just going over all the lines at this point. And then if you get off the lines, it's okay, because as you know, we will go through and erase all the pencil lines, right? 
the pencil lines were just a guide for us. And so now we're just using the pencil lines to guide and then the Sharpie will actually be our permanent lines that we have on our picture. So we've done all the hard work. Now we're just tracing over what we've done. Okay. Now at any time, if you feel like you're getting behind, you can always press pause and come back to the picture, of course. So always remember you can do that, not to get frustrated. Because you can always come back. So I'm just going over all my pencil marks. And then I'm going to go over the baby. So really this is kind of like a picture of you and your mom, which is kind of sweet. Mother's Day is this coming Sunday. So this could be a sweet picture that you could give to your mom. And you know moms love any kind of art when it comes from their children. So it's very special to them. I know I kept all the art projects that my daughter ever made for me from when she was little and I have them in this great big container at my house. And I like to look through them every now and then. So I'm sure your mom feels the same way. So, you know, you can give her your art project and tell her happy Mother's Day and give her a great big hug and a kiss. And that would just make her day on Sunday. Okay, so now that I've done all my Sharpie lines, I'm gonna take my pencil eraser and go over and erase all the pencil marks, okay? Now, if you are still um, doing your Sharpie lines, then obviously you can push pause and you can have as much time as you need to get your Sharpie lines done, okay? So don't feel like you're in a rush. You can have all the time you need, but just by pressing pause. So I'm just going over all my marks right now to get rid of the pencil. And then I'm gonna go in with my markers and color it all in. So you guys know, right? We always do it the same way. Draw, Sharpie, eraser. Okay, okay. So I'm just gonna clean off all my eraser boogers. And whoop, clean all that off. All right. Oops, I missed a spot right there. Okay. So, again, if you need more time, this is a great time to press pause in your video. If you're ready to move on, then awesome. You can go ahead and get started with me. So I'm gonna start with my red, and I'm gonna color in my hearts first. Now with a marker, you have to be very careful to stay inside the lines, okay? The tip is a little thicker, so you really have to be careful where you're putting your color down. And I mean, if you get outside the lines, it happens. But just really be extra careful when you get towards the edges. Um, I definitely slow down quite a bit because I don't want to go over the edge, so. Okay, so you can color your hearts, um, you know, pink or whatever. I decided red was a good color for mine. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the brown. And the brown, I'm gonna do these little knobs at the top of the giraffe heads. Okay, and then also these little manes down their back. They have a little mane down their back, kind of like a horse does, but it looks a little bit different. Okay. So at this point, basically all we're doing is we're coloring in any of the parts that are brown. So the spots are all brown. So I'm just carefully going over that. 
and coloring that all in just like that. And so I'm going to do all everything that's brown first so that I can just finish one thing up at a time. Okay, so down here I'm going to also do the hooves. And then I'm going to go to the baby. I'm going to do these two little horns at the top. And I'm going to do the little mane that goes down the back. And then I will do the tip of the tail. And then the hooves. And then the spots on there. And then I think we'll be done with the brown. Okay, so there's that. So I'm all done with the brown. I'm going to put that away. Then the next color I need is yellow for the body of the giraffe. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my yellow. And yellow is kind of tricky because if you get any black or brown on it, it'll make kind of a funny color. So we have to be really careful um, not to get this mixed in with the brown. So when I go around anything that's brown, I'm really extra careful um, not to get have them mix. Okay, so you see when I'm going in between all these spots, I'm just being extra careful like that. Okay, so I'm going around just like that. I'm super extra careful. So this is probably what's going to take you the most time is navigating between these brown dots. Once you get past those, though, it's easier. But the yellow really stands out and makes it really nice and bright. So sometimes people like to use orange, but I decided I like yellow. Okay, so then this part is easier. We just go through with a thicker tip on the end. And just go straight down like that. So that part is easier. Okay, so now, oh, I can't forget that. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to the baby, do the same thing. Be really careful when I go over the areas with the brown spots. Because if you take this yellow marker and go over the top of the brown spots, what's going to happen is you're going to pick up some of that <clears throat> brown pen and it'll transfer to your yellow and it won't look very nice. So do your best to try to stay off the brown if you can help it. I mean, I know sometimes accidents happen, of course, but Okay, so I'm going to keep going here. All right, so there we go. I've got the baby, the mom, and now my next part is I'm going to do the green on the bottom. Now, before I do that, I'm going to have my extra piece of paper. You know how I talk about having an extra piece of paper to catch the extra paint or extra crayon or extra ink? Well, in this case, it's to catch the extra green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first go in like this. And I'm going to go around all these spots that are kind of tricky first because you don't want this green on your yellow because again it's going to transfer and what's going to happen is it's not going to look very nice. Okay so just have to in between their legs here be really careful. And kind of like that. And using markers are kind of fun, um, especially when you do grass, because if you use a marker for that, it puts these kind of cool lines in it, which makes it look almost like blades of grass. You can kind of see there. And you'll probably see it on your own paper. You can't see it as well here on the on my video, but when you do it on your own paper, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so I'm just going around like this. 
And here's where the edge, what I was talking about, you don't want to get ink on your table. So you need to have this extra piece of paper underneath to catch all the extra ink. So I'm just pulling the pen down to the bottom like this. And it makes these interesting lines, which almost remind me of like um, blades of grass. So that works out really nicely for our picture. Okay. And then after we do the grass, of course, we're going to do the sky and then we're going to be all done. Now, if you still need time or you need more time to finish up some of these pieces, which I completely understand, um, then just remember that you always have the option of pause. Okay. So there is the bottom. Now, I'm going to grab my blue. And I think I'm going to actually turn my paper like this upside down, which sounds, well, actually, first I'm going to do the ones between their legs. So I'm going to grab my blue and I'm going to do, try to not get your hand in the green because you'll get ink on your hands. Try to lift up, keep your hand lifted up. Um, so I'm going to do these little spaces in between. Like this. My marker. And markers are kind of cool because they sometimes have a lot more color than crayons do, which is nice. Okay, so I'm going to go down to the bottom here and then I'm going to go around the edge of the tail because I don't want to get any blue on the yellow. So I'm just going to go in like this and then let's go carefully around the edges here like this and then I'm going to go around the edges like that. Okay, so then I'm just going to color that in there and then I'm going to go around these like this, just trace around them. And then in these little spots here, I'm gonna go in and go around like that. And around like this. And down like this. Cross. Down like that. And around like that. Okay. So I'm just going to take my marker and go up and down like this because I filled in all the little spots. And then I'm going to go around the baby giraffe like this. Fill in all these little gaps. Whoops a little bit too fast. So I'm tracing around the mane and the body and the tail and the grass. Okay. So then this part goes a little quicker because I can just pull these straight lines straight up like this. And it goes pretty quick. Okay. And just up like that. And then, of course, when we go around the hearts, we need to slow down and be careful again, of course. So I'm going to go put my paper over here like that. Be extra careful when I'm going around the hearts. Because I want the hearts to be red, not blue. And then I'll go around like that. That. And put one like that.
Oops, got some on my heart. Oh, I went too fast. Yikes. Okay, so then I'm just doing the last edges here on my blue. And basically you can just do lines once you've traced the, the outline part. You can just go in like this. Still have to be a little bit careful here on the edges. And then I can color all this in. And I like making the lines because it gives a little texture to the picture too. And I try to always do them the same direction. Okay. So as it dries, it's going to have this kind of cool background and lines to it, which is kind of neat. So let me go ahead and put these markers away. All right, so let's take a look at our finished product here. Turned out really cute, our mama and baby giraffe with the hearts and the green grass and the blue sky. So again, you know, if you need more time, you can always rewind the video and go back to parts you might have missed or if you need some extra time, but I think our project turned out pretty great. So I look forward to seeing what you created on Seesaw. So just make sure that you take a picture of what you made and um, go ahead and share it on there so that Mrs. R can see it. And I look forward to seeing all the creations that you've made. So until next time when we meet, I look forward to um, seeing you again. And I think our next project looks like it's going to be a garden project with carrots and all kinds of um, garden vegetables. So that'll be kind of a fun one for spring since a lot of us are planning our gardens right now. All right, I wish you all a great day and look forward to seeing you all very soon. Bye everybody.